I'm Diego Serrano. And I'm Brennan Lenarth. And this is KDRA News. Uh, so it appears that we are in Mr. Kane's office right now, if you can tell by this. But you probably can't. Uh, he. Cal State Long Beach. Alumni, that's, that's cool. He obviously went there. Uh, big Cowgirls fan. A lot of. Tony Romo. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, before we start our news, we have, on this day, yeah. Woo! It's, it's the best segment yes. ever. It's it the really best part is. of our news. It's what keeps us going. Right. It, it's awesome. In 1966, the 20th NBA Championships, Celtics beat Lakers 4-3. to It's been a while since that's happened. <sighs> Sorry, Lakers fans. So, what do we have going on this week, Diego? Well, interesting that you asked that question. Because I have answers. Well, good. I want to hear them. Dream Believers meets Thursday in room 612. So, make sure you're still believing in dreams and stuff. Uh, the talent show has been delayed due to the District Teacher of the Year that will be held on May 15th. So, uh, we should have the date for the talent show next week. Uh, one more announcement before we go to Mr. C. Drama meets Friday, room 612. All right, now let's cut to Mr. C. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you had plenty of rest. Um, I have a long list of things to talk to you guys about. I'm going to try to go through it pretty quick because I know Mr. Kane's got another special for you, uh, the feature Major Pain series. I'm excited to see what he's got together for us this week. First things first, advisory. Uh, boys and girls, you've been assigned an advisory teacher. You, everybody ha is, is assigned. You know where you're supposed to be. However, the last few weeks, kids are going to other classes, uh, especially my eighth graders. You're kind of wandering around, wanting to go to a different teacher's classroom, wanting to come to the office, wanting to do something different. You need to report to your advisory class. Things get distributed during that time. Teachers are talking to you about certain things during this time, or you even just have the KDRA news to watch. But regardless, you need to start reporting to the classroom that you've been assigned to. Thanks. Next thing, our lunch area. Guys, at lunch, I know it's been windy the last couple weeks, but, this, but we're still having a lot of kids that are just being pure lazy and, and not throwing your trash away. It's, it's really disheartening to me to walk around the lunch area and see kids leaving their trays and their milk and everything else just laying on the table. We have tons of garbage cans out there. I, I always say this place is like a home to us. You know, if I went to your home and I left my trash all over your, your house or your tables, you'd, you'd find me to be very disrespectful. That's how I'm kind of starting to view you guys. So please pick up after yourselves. Eighth grade trip, uh, this Wednesday is the last day for eighth graders to turn in the permission slips and their cash. It's $100, it's non-refundable. So if you're gonna pay for this trip, make sure that you're committed to going, all right? Uh, tardies, our tardies are, are, are doing, we're, this is our best year in tardies so far, but they're starting to slip because the end of the year. Guys, um, you know, uh, we kind of enjoy having you out there at the detention table because you know, you're helping us clean up the lunch area, but you need to get to class on time. You've got plenty of time. But the, this, is, this is a shout out to my teachers. I want you to know that um, kids are coming to you and, and if they're telling you that they're tardy because they were either with one of us, you, you need to mark them tardy. Because if they're with us, we either walk them to class or we give them a pass from the office. Um, so this is to the teachers and to the students, stop playing games with your teachers. All right, speaking of uh, lunch detention, we also know, you've, you've noticed I've also cracking down on the IED thing. Um, a lot of kids right now have been getting um, referrals, lanyard violations, because they're covering up their picture. You know, just because you're wearing your ID and your lanyard doesn't mean it's okay. A lot of you are covering it with, you know, pieces of paper or stickers or whatnot, and I've been, you know, calling your name to the office and issuing you a lanyard citation. You need to show your ID, have it outside, around your neck at all times. All right? Next, dress code. I just want to kind of revamp what our dress code, because the weather's starting to get warm, our clothes are starting to become a little risky. You know, uh, ladies you know, and gentlemen, if you're wearing skirts to school, you need to make sure those skirts are fingertip length. And, and ladies, you're coming through the gate with a skirt, well, and gentlemen, don't want to be, you know, biased here. You're coming through the, the, the gates with your skirts at the appropriate level, but then once you kind of get beyond us, somehow you tend to pull those skirts up a little bit, you know, it's unacceptable. If you're doing that and we, if we've warned you enough, or once, even once isn't too much, we're going to have you to the office and call your parents for a change of clothes. 
All right, um, remember your pants cannot have holes or swords cannot have holes above fingertip length. I'm really sick of seeing people shoving that, uh, you know, the paper towels in those holes. I've asked the office staff to stop allowing that. That is time for you to just sit in the office and wait for somebody to either come pick you up or bring you a change of clothes. You've been here long enough to know the rules. No more breaks. Cell phones, my, my little beauties. You need to stop using these cell phones in the class. I'm gonna start coming after you and, and retrieving your phones. And if I know that you're using your phones in the classroom to take videos or take pictures while the teacher's teaching, I'm not giving warnings. I'm taking your cell phone and they'll sit here until your parents can come pick it up. Deal? I need to end this with uh, uh, you know, heartfelt congratulations to Mr. Powell and Mrs. Engler. Uh, this year's Teachers of the Year, you, you are truly deserving of this award. Students, please applause your teachers. They work hard for you. Uh, every teacher at this campus works hard for you. But you know, these two are being recognized this year. Make sure that you, you acknowledge you know, the, the, the great achievement. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you, Mr. C. And by the way, FCA meets on Tuesday in room 309 at lunch, as always. But make sure you're there because it's Mrs. Gervin's last FCA day before she has her baby. It's always good bringing life into this world. <laughs> so we have a clip from Club Live Jam. So let's get to that sponge. In the face action. <laughs> Mr. C would get hit in the face with a sponge. I thought so too. It, it's just amazing how he just came like just out of nowhere. Mrs. Yeah. Thomas had that lead. Yeah, but like ten dollars, and, and Mr. C just came in and ten ten dollars. Yes, ten dollars. Wow. I think I That's saw a lot of money. Yeah, I think I saw a few kids, but you could buy like a, 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 you, a pair you just of socks. Interrupted with you. Me. You just interrupted I'm me. I'm sorry. That's very rude. Well, when I'm talking about pair of socks that you can buy, it's fine. Gosh. Let's go to Preppy Monday. Let's go to Preppy Monday. So you wanna play with my Hey DRA, we are here with our favorite Tech Trek star, Faith Casillas. And we will be interviewing her today. So oh, Faith, why did you apply? I applied to Tech Trek because it was perfect for me because I love math and science. That's really cool. How did you feel when you got accepted to Tech Trek? I felt so excited. I bet, man. I mean, you're basically getting accepted for like a whole week little university trip. How do you think it will help out in life? And it will help me with my education. Perfect. How do you feel about going to Tech Trek? I feel really, really, really excited and I cannot wait at all. Thank you, Preppy Monday. Thank you, Preppy Monday. Man, that sounded weird. Yeah, that, that was a little awkward. It's fine. Okay. So anyways, last week, uh, Mr. Left Lane had an egg dropping contest. Uh, so, let's go back to right now. Right now. Someone say that uh, he looked like Spider Man. Yeah, he was uh, pretty high up. In the sky. Man, that was awkward too. Dude, you're, it's so awkward, all the things that you're saying. Well, dude, it's. Why not... do you have to sing? <laughs> you're always singing. <laughs> well, we have a second uh, episode of Major Pain where he takes on PE Slackers. Are you sure it's second episode? Yes, it was. There's only one other one. I'm really? Saying. Yeah. Are you sure? I thought this is the third one. No. Really? Really. Okay, uh, let's cut to him where he takes on P.E. Slackers.
drop my clothes again. Man, again? Yep, I guess I'm the number one PE slacker. Watch out, I heard Major Payne's coming around. Major Payne? I'm not scared of him either today, tomorrow, or yesterday. Does not scare me a single bit. I don't care how old he is, I don't care how tough he is, he does not scare me a single bit. Morgan, how many times have you forgotten your P.E. clothes? About five times. Five times in one week. That is amazing, especially since it's only Wednesday. Give him the shirt. The shirt? The shirt. Well, you're gonna get a new P.E. Alona shirt, specially designed by Major Payne. Look at that. What do you think of that nifty thing? I'm supposed to wear this? It's pink. And you're gonna look pretty in pink, flower boy. Now get that P.E. Lona shirt on right now. Hip, hip, hip. Why, here he is, P.E. Slacker, number one. How you like Major Payne's new P.E. Loner shirt? I don't like this Loner shirt at all. Well, sweet cakes, you better remember your P.E. clothes next time. There's only one thing left for you to do now. What's that? You really want to know? I do want to know. Come a little closer. A little closer. Dive down and give me 25! One tubby tubby, two tubby tubby, three tubby tubby, four tubby tubby, five tubby tubby. I was working out with Major Payne's new line of P.E. loner shirts. New shirts coming out soon. All for you P.E. slackers. See you soon. Set, rolling, action, Shane, out of the shot! <laughs> <laughs> you guys better dress out in P.E. because if you don't, yeah. Major Payne has plenty of these for you guys. Dakota looks good in pink, am I really right? Did. Yeah. Let's turn it around. That, it really did look good on him. Yeah, it uh, did. Beautiful. So, we should probably yeah, uh, We should probably finish up because I, I think I see Mr. Kane coming. Oh, no. I don't think he knows we're in here. All right, well, I'm Brennan Lenarth. And I'm Diego Serrano. And this is your KDRI News. Hey, what's going on here? You two, get to work. You stay classy, DRA. Oh, what? Slackers.